All right, first pie guy here. I just want to go over my little uh, Raspberry Pi Zero setup that I have here. Get it in the picture frame. Um, this is a Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, I don't believe it's the Wi-Fi one. I believe it's just the normal guy. Yep. So, <clears throat> I set this up obviously with a different Pi. Then I just swap the SD card. Then we have a 2500 milliamp battery here. Uh, this little adapter thing here is actually from a battery power bank. Uh, you can plug a USB in for output and the uh, charging port is right here for the micro USB. Uh, five volt charge. And uh, obviously a five volt output but uh this is uh like an adafruit uh battery that you can get on amazon or adafruit website or whatnot this might not be the exactly same one but it definitely looks like it uh and as you can see i have a many circuits uh bandpass filter with a uh Uh, SMA uh, little bulkhead there with a right angle on it or 90 if you want to call it that then I have a power switch here to power up the Pi then I just have a couple holes here for breathing and uh, other than that that's about it and uh, obviously you can just take an antenna and screw it in on here. But uh, I'm just running a regular Raspbian image on here. And this is for uh, fox hunting, for uh, amateur radio, ham radio. And this is set up for the uh, two meters and obviously the frequency and the tone. So, uh, <clears throat> and you can set the frequency up for whatever. Uh, I can't remember the guy's call sign that came up with this software. It's pretty easy to install. I'm just using the GPIO 4 coming off the Pi for the uh, transmit. Uh, you can also hook this up to a radio if you actually want to using a Pi, but... This is a lot easier. Yes, it may not transmit obviously as far, but uh, I'm actually surprised of how decent it does work. Trying to pick it up using a Omni antenna, but normally you would use a Yogi antenna when you fox hunt. But uh, <clears throat> well, yeah, all you need to do is we just hit the power button and well, if I had it plugged in, it's not, duh. This gets plugged in here, which is not the simplest thing to do. But this thing is pretty small. You know, once you uh, have it down, it's got a, uh, a waterproof seal here going around, but obviously it's not 100% waterproof because I got holes in there, but it would definitely work in a, light rain it wouldn't get very wet at all i wouldn't think but uh but i think i'm going to do a video on uh, actually doing like a step by step on how to make one of these i have an extra box in the shop so uh i think i might do up another one but I uh, figured I'd just share this and go into a little bit more detail than in my prior video. But uh, I just came off the ground into GPIO 4 for the uh, pin and the shield coming off the bulkhead. And obviously the battery, the uh, adapter to charge the battery and the uh, power output. And uh, 
I'm not totally sure on how long this would last on the battery. I haven't really tested it very much. Uh, it transmits uh, every 60 seconds, which you can change uh, the transmit whenever you feel like. And you can change the message to transmit whatever you feel like it to say when it transmits. So anyway, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for uh, some more information. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for another one.